any person you hire, any salesperson you hire, they will not know how to communicate and what to communicate. Um, I personally hid, hid uh, for example, I personally hate finance and accounting. I have an MBA and I don't like it. I've ignored my company's finances for the longest time. It's somebody else's problem. As long as we're declaring VAT and the auditor says it's okay, I don't. It's not for me. It's 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 not for me. I'm focusing on product, on marketing, on services, and so on. And then I want to get better. So what it was, I hired a company. I know the guy is very very good. He ran the books for around nine months, and I didn't touch it because they gave me reports. I talked to them, and it's, it's just something you know. He's a good guy. He knows what he's doing. And then at one point I said, I wanted to look at some financial data because I wanted to create new services and products. I need the financial data. When I asked for the books and I look at them, they're financially accountingly correct, but they have nothing to do with me as a business owner to make my decisions on. So I had to, after, after nine months of me not paying them to do things that works for them, but not for me, I had to sit down and learn basics that are annoying and ugly to learn. But for now I've changed different accountants, I've dealt with different financial controls in our company. I feel very comfortable hiring and firing because I understand now what to look for and the signs. Before now, I used to keep it. They know their stuff. It's just, you know, it's just too much for me to, to understand and handle. This is what I'm hoping from an attitude perspective that you learn the ugly stuff on your own personally so that later on you can hire and fire and manage somebody who can do this. And that's done with X hours of YouTube, a bunch load of mistakes as you run the campaigns and, uh, and the calls and so on.